Hello everyone, Dickvick here and welcome back to another The Outer Worlds video. We left off uh, clearing this little town here up in the wild, the wilderness. I think we're kind of hitting the end of the wilderness. I assume that this place up here is going to be inhabited by something. Because it is outside the wall across the bridge. And I kind of get the feeling that I should dot everything up here. And then put a whole bunch of rounds into the Colossus here. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I put them to range. And I also did some major um, inventory management off camera. Went back to ship a few times, cleaned everything up, sold everything. Because my inventory was getting messy as fudge. I also uh, am keeping one copy of everything in my bank, so that's kind of hard. I really, really do wish they had a way to... Um, Sort your inventory well in the transfer screen. You can do it at the sell screen, the buy screen, every other screen in the game, except for the transfer screen. It's kind of annoying, to be totally honest. How it really makes making trade on of duplicates and all that stuff quite difficult. Um, I'm just going to openly engage that one because I could see it and hope no megas or anything come with it. These little ads are fine to come with it, that's whatever. Not super concerned. And the fact that none of these guys are butt rushing me makes me think none of them are really megas or anything. Colossus could have been a problem, but we have this brand new fancy uh and Enray? Enray gun that just kinda makes short work of all these guys, to be totally honest. Uh, long gun build starting to come into its own here, which is really, really nice. And the XP for clearing this whole place. Has been insane, and we're gonna F5 it here because you do not want to uh, lose your progress. Everyone hates that shit. So that is one bridge across to another whole giant area of this map. We need to clear this side first. I don't know if I want to clear both sides of the bridge before going into the town. I feel like they're going to send me out here anyways, once I go into the town. Still wish I knew exactly what this did to me. Doesn't give me any penalties. Details. End raid. An end raid raid. There's a damage to every enemy around the affected, not affected against them. Well, I think the fact that it's mine means it doesn't damage me and it actually damages enemies around me. Would be how I'm reading that one since it's a friendly N ray. If you guys know for a fact that's how it works, let me know. I'm pretty sure that is exactly how that works out. So, um, it seems to make sense. I feel like there's something close to me that I'm ignoring here, and there was. Um, put some rounds into him. Are we good, everybody? Where are we running to, buddy? Sit down. Corrosive weakness, corrosive damage received plus 25%. Yes, I will happily take on those because I can actually afford to eat those, you know. 70% movement speed. Whenever you're affected by a harmful con effect, you deal increased damage. No thanks. Protection radius, melee damage return is health. Area effect damage received. Range attacks inflict negative one armor. That might be really, really good for me. Canyons. When you use an inhaler, companions are revived with a small amount of HP. Kind of really want that one, to be honest. 30% damage, 50% science weapon damage. Oh. Okay, we'll get the revive on inhaler. We'll see how that goes. I know it has a long ass cooldown. But we'll see if it's worth it or not. If you can respec in this game, which is a really, really good thing. Um. F5, because who the hell wants to waste your darn time having to re-kill things? Here we go. One you. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm not using an end tech weapon right now. So we can actually uh, just kind of play into these guys. I don't need to spread my dots around. Oh, thank you. I thought it was pretty nice too. We good everything? It's good. F5 again, because uh, you know. Quick save spam saves lives. <laughs> Does anyone here watch um 
Oh, what the hell are their names? One second, everyone. Alt tab in. Cannot believe I forgot their names. Viva La, the Viva La Dirt, I think it is. Terrible with this one, guys. Hold on a second. Your channel. Ah, so much work to do this. Switching channels. Uh, I think it's Viva La Dirt. No, I'm just gonna Google it. Viva La Dirt. Yeah, Verbal Dealer. They did a uh, one of the recent videos is about quick saving too frequently, and they the guy falls off a cliff and they quick save it right as he's about to fall off, and uh, he gets stuck in the infinite falling loop and he has no way to fix it because he quick saves too much. That's the only time quick saves are really really bad for you. By the way, it's a really funny skit. Definitely worth checking out if you guys like comedy and video games. Viva La Dirt YouTube channel. These guys are hilarious. They do some crazy funny stuff and great channel. I'm kind of jealous their channel to be totally honest. Kind of wish I could uh, do some of that stuff. I could. I could start comedy stuff. But, you know, we're trying to get situated and get all this stuff rolling here. Which is the hard part. Once I get my groove, I will definitely branch out into some other content. We'll have some good time here. Um, it's just a workstation here. We did loot everything in this building, I think. Trying to keep track of everything we've done and haven't done. Oh, look at this. There's a ladder going up to the roof here. Why is this here? Nothing up on this roof that I see. Um, but it does let me get over to this roof. Which then just has one box on it. Potentially a stuck area too. Ow, that hurt. Oh, I did mix that little box of energy ammo, so we'll take that. Kind of weird that there's a ladder right there. It doesn't go anywhere particularly amazing. But nonetheless, there's a small little ladder. And I cannot remember if you can go in and out of this building here. It doesn't look like you can. But we will always, you guys know, check around back. Check all the little nooks and crannies here. Didn't miss that. Well, I did miss it because it was glowing like that, but there was nothing in it. There were no harm, no foul on the miss. Um, yeah, we'll hack you open. Or lockpick you open. Why the hell not? Reach and clear. Reach and clear till you see a credits chip on the ground and immediately stop clearing the whole room and pick it up like a pro. Psh, that's what I do. Um, how you know you're a loot whore? Man, dude, I know it's very clear I'm a loot whore without how I just tried to clear this room, to be totally honest here. Um, what are we looking for here? There's a terminal here, which I will read in a second. Pop you open? No, we cannot. We pop you open? No. Then we go upstairs. Yes, yes, we can. Ah, so many little bit cards everywhere. Does anyone like have a job of condensing bit cards? Like you just take a whole bunch of bit cards, there's one fucking bit on it, and you put them all into one big bit card. Kind of like someone should have that full time job because there's just ridiculous amounts of small bit cards floating around. Um, got an outside. Um, hello, who is in there? I don't think they've figured out that yet. Who are you? Yeah, number two, tough for me. Thank the eternal. I'm Huxley. Ah, uh, Hux if you're lazy. I'm stuck. Hux if you're lazy. My friends and I were scavenging here, and a Mad Queen showed up. Then Rathodon, who's a void blasted mess. I ran in gear, and um, now the door's locked. Little help? Um, you got locked in. How? I've been there, done that, been chased. Oh shit, guys, I did not change my UI, my bad. Boom, there we go, we're out of the dialogue options there, it happens. It's one of those things you gotta remember when you're changing games or recording different stuff, so you gotta move yourself around. You're supposed to be more professional. Normally I'd have like a giant checklist somewhere, but I don't, because my whiteboard's on the floor, because I ain't got nowhere to hang it properly. It's a mess, but we'll figure it out. Um, You got it, where's the key? Probably. 
They'll look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross. Jeez, seems you're trapped. You might as well answer a few things for me. There must be a way to open it. Lock pit 100. I bet I can get through this. Um. Sure. Pete's not answering questions. Who are you? I'm an iconoclast runner. The iconoclast runner. Fastest we've got. Ain't a raptodon on this void forsaken hellhole that can catch me. Interesting. I'm. Uh, I'm. <sighs> Sorry. Put me in a tiny room like this and I'm liable to flip. Not keen on tight spaces, you know? I don't personally know. I don't super have a problem with them. If they get really, really tiny, it starts to irritate me a little, but not. Like, I'm talking like body tight here, not so much. Uh... Tell me about the oh, icons. That'd be my people. Graham and Zora and Milton and. I really miss them. You gonna let me out of here? I wanna get back to Amber Heights. Oh. So get locked in the closet often? What does happen? Okay, yes, fine. I get myself into sticky situations. It's just part of life, all right? Sometimes you gotta hide in a trash can so you don't get eaten by monsters. Wait, really? I wasn't serious. Oh, uh, was she that. was. You know, she was. Right, back to the door. Um, there must be a way to open it from the inside. Engineering right now, but okay, let's try the handle. Turn it upwards and lulls. We're gonna do that. Upward? Oh my eternal soul, it worked! Are you kidding me? You should not use a fucking so door handle. I was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite like oh, my I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. You sure you're okay to travel? Good luck leave conversation. Yeah, yeah, just beat it. Attack oh, with the trouble you caused me. You're dying here. Oh boy. Oh sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and hey, who's your identical, slightly blurry friend? <laughs> uh, normally when you help someone. But I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? Um Can't buy ammo with <laughs> appreciation and respect. Oh, put in a good word for me. Fine, we'll go number five. Can do. Good luck, leave conversation. Thanks a lot, mister. You're welcome, ma'am. Enjoy it out there. Your free world not locked in a closet because you didn't know how to use a door handle. It's fine. A little bit of... A little bit of rage in that one, because, like, it is hilarious, but, like, oh, did see people like that in the real world. Oh, they get to me sometimes. Not mean towards them or anything, it's just sometimes you're just like, really? But it's like, for one person with a whole bunch of, like, street smarts and, and comic, common sense, but lacking in other education departments, like English, as you guys probably know, it's like, they're really good at English, so it's like, touche, we all have our individual intelligence and shit. But like, ah, it's still hard to not just do your default of how the hell can you be so stupid? But in actuality, I am that stupid in certain categories. So it's a touche. And it's kind of maturing and adulting here. Um, walking a bunch of whole, walking across a whole bunch of rooftops here. Um, I wonder if this is meant to be like a stealthy alternative. I don't see anything on any of those, which I could jump to. There is another ladder here. It looks like it goes all the way down. I know I can jump to these. Don't know if I can make that next jump. That's that's quite a jump. Holy shit, we made it. Don't think there's really any point in any of these jumps, though. We're gonna try and jump back, fail miserably, injure myself, probably get attacked by rabbit animals because of that. Just kidding, we're not actually gonna get, like, mauled to death because of that. Um, in here there was a terminal that I said I was gonna read and show off how bad I am at English here. View extensive reviews. 
Loading last access document. Continue. Sandra has a bad habit of padding these reports with numbers and statistics. Not very good with slogans, jingles, and or tingles. Presentations tend to be dry and lacking in emotion, appealing in funny references. Shandra also displays a noted tendency to complete work rather than delegate it. I tend on becoming an upper management lulls. All in all, Oscar's work habits suggest a preoccupation with details and a startling lack of vision. We cannot recommend him for further advancement. Needs improved in the following areas. Interpersonal communication. Yeah, I need all these things too. Brevity, delegation, and idea generation. That sucks to be you there, buddy. Oh. That was the first one. Hack. Roof logging credentials. Graham's understanding of production, messaging, and branding is impressive, especially for retrieving low-level editor. Has a knock for memorial slogan signs. Um, However, Graham has issues with brevity and shows constant disregard for prescribed fonts and formats. Some of his work has been flagged for submersive undertones. Oh boy, you gotta stop being so creative. A door shows a real knack for brief but compelling presentations supported by catchy slogans. Her delegation skills are also top notch and she can build a lengthy meeting around any topic and you merge with plenty of work assigned. Recommend for promotion. What a fucked up way to uh, to do all that. I'm not going to delete them all. I have a feeling someone's going to want that data at some point. And like I don't really want to be brash and make that decision now. when I do not know exactly what it is for per se. That's one of the ones we already cleared. This is one of the ones we were climbing up on the roofs for. Nothing, nothing. Is there anything down here? I'm pretty sure I jumped down here already and didn't see anything. That building is not go inable. Go inable is the word I'm using. <laughs> using, usable. Wow. Sometimes you just start making shit up and you cannot stop. Sealed. Cannot go out that door. Didn't think so because it's kind of like the dead end of the map. Like but you never know. I believe this place has seen better days. Yeah, I believe too that it has seen better days. Kind of odd that the whoa, hello guys, it's not paying attention to my mini map. Fall back, fall back, funnel them in here, taking that plus twenty five percent damage to corrosive. I feel that no longer just kind of let it tick away. I mean, I could. It's not that bad, but like, yeah, it's it's noticeable. If I let it go on manage for too long, it will kill me now. Or before, it was just like, eh. Slight irritants. Really no big concern whatsoever. Those guys are all looted. Check around the back of this building. And nothingness. Of course. Um, What else do we got here? This building. Does not look like we can go in. We won't check this. But oh, Sack of potatoes. What saw me and what's unhappy about it? You? What are you gonna do about it? Nothing? Didn't think so. Cause I set my two guys to range and they will whoop your ass. Oh, big boy coming in to melee swipe me. What you got? Nothing. That's what you got. Why do I have a hostile marker all the way back here? Where did you come from, my friend? Did I have repops? Feels like a respawn. Why did these guys respawn back here? Were they just more flowing across this bridge and into here? Because I did something? Well, we'll have five save it. No reason not to. Then we will come back to this side. That was the door. I wonder who used to live here. Do you suppose anyone remembers anymore? Yeah, I'm sure these weren't abandoned that long ago. I mean, I guess they could have been. But like 70 years isn't that long. Unless we weren't the first colonists to come out here. And this really have been out here way, way, way longer. Then possibly people forgot. Man, kind of on the feeling, especially with corporate. You feel like they would keep records of all this shit. 
Um, but then again, I guess these corporations really, really do like to just delete everything. Am I in like a bugged? So I like a, I go over here, it triggers a repop back here. Because these things are back again. Is this like a mission trigger that's bugged? Like, so there's some enemies to fight out here when you come back here to do a mission or something? Yeah, I'm sure it does burn, but you'll be fine. And like, if so, infinite XP farm much? I'm not going to do it if it happens again. I will leave because I'm not here to exploit and make the game easier than needed. I'm just kind of figuring it out and getting a feel for what the trigger or bug could be. Where does it trigger? Hasn't triggered yet. Look away, look back. No, still no trigger. Still no trigger. No trigger. Okay. Go back around the back of this house and is the trigger. Yes. So back here somewhere triggers that spawn. And it triggers it to be alerted to me. Really interesting. But again, we're just going to ignore it and pretend like those things are not an infinite spawn. And not exploit the crap out of it. End episode now. <laughs> BFK 20 hours. Come back in. So guys, yeah, I just got all this magic XP. You know, I didn't do the exploit thing at all. No, I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna do that. It would be funny though. But no. I'm sure there's some people out there that try and explain that away like that. And you're like, nah, you're kind of full of shit there, buddy. You definitely just exploited. Um, evicted. Cannot go in. That's a big ass building to not have a way in. Not gonna lie. Pretty sure I already checked around that house. It's looking like I did, but there is a bottle there, which makes me think I didn't actually. And this would be the town that is supposed to be super dangerous to push towards and like impossible. Why is there an actual good ship out here? Looks good. Looks like it would fly. Anything hidden around here? No, there's just a random ship parked out here. Take some bits off of it so it can't fly away. Because whoever it is, as far as I know, you are not supposed to park your ship off of a landing pad. Hands, this ride is about to get ugly. You reckon what? the smell ever goes away? Maybe the wind off the sea helps. I wonder if that's supposed to be a trigger from leaving the town into here. So it's like, oh shit, you're going to get freaking owned. But it's actually like, no, I already killed everything. And now I'm here and we're fine. But anyways, guys, we're out of time for this episode. So I really do appreciate you stopping by and checking out the video. And if you enjoyed this video, appearing above me here, there should be a playlist of a whole bunch of these episodes and some more over there in a few seconds here. And if you like some of those thinking about liking, subscribing, commenting, hitting the notification bell, watching all my content front to back to really help my analytics and being an awesome member of the community. And I will see you guys in the next video. Dick big out. Oh, those motherfuckers said we couldn't get across the wilderness. Who the one? Who number one? We number one. You number one. We all number one. Three of us are number one.